So we've just finished setting up um, Alex in uh, 31 the, neuron setup. Neuron setup, and now we're going to set him up for uh, wireless motion capture. So we have the hub here. Here we haven't hooked it up yet to the system. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook it up to the computer using the data port right here, and we're going to wait for this beep to go on before we even open Axis Neuron. Okay. So now. Uh, we are going to start Axis Neuron. So Axis Neuron usually is going to open up a wizard, but we don't need that right now. But it's going to give us the option to set up, and that's what we want to do. We want to click the Setup button. We're going to see the hub here as one of the options here. We're going to click Setup. And it's going to ask us to link our computer to the Wi-Fi router, which we already have. And make sure your computer's Wi-Fi is turned off. That's kind of an important thing to do. It will help not to conflict with the, the, the Wi-Fi that's directly hooked up, uh, your, your, your router that's directly hooked up to your computer. Okay? Uh, so you're going to click Next. And the wizard's going to hook up to your hub and to your router. And you're going to find your router on this list here. And you're going to see ours is called Perception Neuron 4 on here. And we'll see it here, so we'll click on it. And it's going to ask us to put the uh, password off our router, which I know is written down here. Okay. And then apply that. Okay. And that's basically it. It's telling me unplug the USB data and link your hub with a USB power pack. So we're unplugging this. Done. And I'm going to take a battery pack. Switch over from the, the cable from your data port over to your power port. Connect your hub now to your perception neuron system. And give it power using a 2 amp uh, battery pack. And you're going to see it flashing. And that means it's trying to connect to your network. As soon as it beeps, that means it's connected to your network. When you look back on your computer, now you'll see your hub listed as one of your connection options. And all you have to do is click Connect. And right away, you'll see on your sensor map all your sensors. Now, the first thing you should look at is see if any of them are showing up with an error. And now I can see right now that the index finger on the right hand and the middle finger on the left hand have issues. They're not connected. That's the only two that are not connected. So that usually means, and I can see on here that they're not lit up, which means that there's some, some either they're not seated properly or there's like an issue, there's an issue with them. So that's usually just a problem of probably they need to be pulled out, pulled in, pulled out. So what usually the best to do is just disconnect. Just go to your computer, disconnect for a few seconds. Disconnect the battery. Make sure there's nothing in the way. And put them back. Just examine that there's nothing wrong with them. And put them back in. There you go. And now we'll connect again. Connect again the power. Wait till it beeps. That means it's connected back onto the network. Click connect. And wait for your sensor map. And now I'm seeing that all, every single sensor, all 31 are showing up. What and we make sure that uh, they are all lighting up. So we have it over here on the access player. And we also have all the sensors are lighting up on, uh, on my body. All the sensors that are connected. 